Unless there are any specific questions, I'm going to go back to doing Yechav Adas. Okay, we're going to do a different tshuva from uh, Rav Avadia. Is there any um, objection? Any? I, I do have a question, but... Uh... What is it? If it's any good, we'll talk about okay. it. Okay, so I had a couple of friends who finished Shas, uh, and some of them that decided to roll themselves are like Rolexes or like a new car or something like that. Is that something appropriate that we should be doing? Is that okay? If it makes you learn better, yes. I can't imagine that having a Rolex makes you learn better than having a Timex, but there are people like that, so then the Rolex becomes um, um, a, a, an incentive for learning. Okay, I'll do that. Then. Okay? Seven years. Yes, did you look up the Gemara by Rabbi Shem Ben Shetach? I saw. <laughs> what? Shortly, I got some insanity. I know it's arguing. I wonder about the person asking the question. Some question about that. The question. Last week, you didn't seem so sure about no, that. No, no. About the question asked earlier. Why? Where? What? It's in the bar. Where? Where is it in the tomb? Yeah, yeah, there's also one. Yeah, yeah, there's also one. But I want the person that's the Kashish man. It says the woman's out in the Kashish second. So, how about that? That's by Bnei Yisrael. Not from that Pasuk. It's learned out from Bnei Yisrael. No, it's learned out from Navi. From the concept of Orla Goyim. Okay, so here's the question. No one's arguing. They actually keep the Shishat. But I agree with it. But it's not me, it's clear. However, we do know, as what we said before, we do know the decision is Toya Sakum. Why? I don't know. Toya Sakum is Maka, the Gemara of Amachas and Mabe, Amal Aleph, and here it says, I just read the Gemara, I'm not sure. Did you read the Miri of Amachas? I did not. Like, well, you don't know what I'm Yeah, that Gemara has been censored. The Ozvahad <laughs> Gemara, which you have there, yeah. has been censored Why? by Mr. Ozvahad, or whoever that is. Can I have a a from the from the tia? No, I do. I will tell you. This the one. Can I just read the one? No, we have to wait for another Baba Tia to come. I'm sorry, Baba Kam. I apologize. So you're looking for an Ozvahader? Nine Ozvahader, Baba Kam. That is Ozvahader. I need a Baba Kama. Oh, 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 sorry. It's my mistake. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure this one will have it either. Anything else use the Ozva on their text? Oh, no, here it is. Here it is. I have one. Oh. Okay, look. Look and find what is missing in that Gemara, which is in this Gemara. On the page. Look, look, look. Not in the Gemara itself, on the page. <laughs> What's missing in those other Gemara? Missing? Yes. It's a big block of commentary which is in the old Gemara, which is non the Ozvahada. You can't find it? Mayor, did you set him up? Maybe all the ones took it out. No, no, it's in there. Oh, okay. Uh, she didn't get this in that Gemara? No. Oh. 
they censored the Shita Mekubetzes. See that? The old Gemaras all had the Shita Mekubetzes. But the new Gemara, Ozvahadar, and the art scroll, which used the Ozvahadar, they took the Shita Mekubetzes out. Not just there, but also right there in Barbara Kama. So why did you take it out? Oh, because the, but you, he will tell you. I don't want to tell you. I want him to tell you why they took it out. <laughs> Do you want to be on camera? Should I show the camera? <laughs> <laughs> I want you You're not sure why they took it out? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know why they took it out. Well, you know why they took it out. No, the same reason you would have taken it out. Well, we'll take it. Stop. Just looking at the screen. <laughs> no, not so. No, I'm not sure. I just, I don't know what they're saying. The A, shall the Zoran believe rather than the Shudan Akosha in the two of the Mitzvahs. The Shudan Akosha in the two of the Mitzvahs. The Shudan Akosha in the two of the Mitzvahs. The Shudan Akosha in the two of the Mitzvahs. A little louder, Kozet Lo. Kozet Lo Debru. El Azain Umos. That's why I just want to look it out. Yeah, it goes on, right? More machine than we go back to this. But there are three machines. You can look it up, it's really in the machine than we go back to this. For him, maybe you're in the sun. No, they're all three things in the same vein. There are three hours here in the Shita of Gubetzis, right? Well, I didn't see the hour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I suppose it's time. It's time to show them to do it. It's a nice thing. Yeah, it's a that means that nations which are civilized and have proud, these religions and oh, no, I'm sorry laws and with the Ossos and what? The, the, the laws and, and uh, co- conventions, which are uh, which are civil appropriate, though they that none of this doesn't apply to them, and that is from the Meiri, correct? Yeah. Yes. And there's another Meiri which is brought down there, right? Oh, it's another Yenison. Aren't there three Rs there? The last one's the Rush. What? The last one's the Rush. The Rush. What does the Rush say? This is Oz Vahadu though. This one's not going to happen. So it's not Oz Vahadu? No, this is Oz Vahadu. It's, 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 it's a censor. Rabbi Sai, now let me explain to you. There's a sense that the, the, the Ozbahadar Gemaras censored out a Shita Mekubetzes, which was put into the Gemaras perhaps because they wanted to make nice to non Jews. But the Gemara, whatever, but it is authentic Shita Mekubetzes. And in the Shita Mekubetzes, which is Rebetal Ashkenazi from the 16th century, who quotes gener- generally Rishonim from the 250, 200 years before him, such as here, Abirna's son. The Rosh and the Meiri, they all say that these these the the negative attitude towards non-Jews, which one finds manifest here on Daf Lamed Ches, only applies either to the seven nations of Canaan or only to nations which are barbarian and savage, and doesn't apply to nations in our day and age. So that that used to, that was oh yeah, yeah no that's what Meiri says actually. Yeah, yeah. I don't have, I can't have, don't have it, it's not here. Hey, give him the book. So you, you put in those words. Of, <laughs> I don't see those words in all the I don't know, okay. I, I don't know if there's any, if there's any Zion that we have today. I don't know if there is or if there isn't. We, we don't have Zion I know we have civilized nations today due to the yeah. fact that 
everybody's, the Gemara does say in other places that the Goyim were praised the fact that they didn't write Ksubas to each other. Um, and now today, gay is all over the place. I mean, the Goyim generation now has become mapping openly. But this guy, that, and, and, and most people, most of them don't do it. I don't think they don't Okay, do most of them don't. It's reality. Uh, you're right. I don't see, because, uh, um, I don't see that is, he quotes that specific line I mean there. But that, Meiri says... What's that? Abortion? What's wrong with abortion? What's wrong with abortion? Yeah. We passed that abortion in the body box. Is somebody allowed to do it when the... Let's play something over there. Are you allowed to abortion? Let's say you have to decide. You know the teacher. You know the teacher. Depends. You you pass me the teacher, yes, And under certain circumstances, you you are. You're aware of that, right? Certain circumstances. What's your circumstances? What's the circumstances? Such as. Such as where the child, the, the fetus has tay sex. We're talking about normal. But what do you want to do? You want to abolish abortion in the United States? If you abolish abortion in the United States, you're going to abolish also halachically permitted abortions. Wait, 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 yeah, but I'm still for abolishing abortion. Well, I'm with you. Yeah, for what? I don't know. There's a mother of us. You want to talk about Sicilians that was mothers? In certain circumstances? Right. But in America in general, an average girl or, or, this is, okay, I don't know who Chopper Miller is. I don't know who the average person is. I don't know who the average person is. I assume the average, believing Christian. The average lady average wants to have free, you have to, open. You, 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 you fell for the, uh, the, the, um, the propaganda of the left. That's not the left. Yes, because the right, obviously there's a right wing in the United States which is very anti-abortion. And oh, they passed, course. so what's your problem? Well, that, okay, so, what's so in other words, you want to kill left-wingers, that's all. Right. I don't like to kill left-wingers. I want to tie him to Hashem now. Yeah. So now, you want to know if the guy today at Sadiqim, that's your own No, it doesn't have to be at Sadiqim. The society has to be a society which is civil. I'm asking, is today's society civil? Yes. Yes. No, they, have ju- they have just laws which are le- legislated with the purpose of uh, f- uh, promoting a society which is just and e- 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 equitable and uh, pro- li- provides liberty and. Uh, um, justice for all. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Actually, thank you. I forgot the, the, how to finish that phrase. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Where is the, there's, an, there's another Gemara later on, which um, also they took out the, uh, the Shita Mekubetzes, um, the Ozvahada took it out. Kofi Gimel, right. Kofi Gimel, it says, Gezel Kanani is mutter. Right? Kofi Gimel. Sorry, what was the Gemara on Lama Ches is one where it says that that Lama Ches is the Gemara which says that if, uh, if our ox gores the ox of a non-Jew, that you don't have to pay, right? And uh, the, uh, it's, um, it says here also that, um, um, what are the other things which it says here? That uh, they don't get, uh, uh, they don't, uh, since they don't keep Sheva Mitzvah, so their money is no longer their money, right? Their money can go, goes to Amisro. And uh, so that's basically what it says here in Gom Bekes. And Kufi Gimel, it talks about Gezel Akum, those who took Gezel Akum to Akum. Boy, so much of a value tonight. So the, um, and here, the Shina Gvetsas they took out sa- says like this, um, that where the Gemara says here, there's an opinion that says that um, you, can be, you can trick a non-Jew, if there's uh, somebody who wants to, there's a tax collector, and uh, they want to get out of the taxes, so then you can uh, pull the wool over his eyes. So the red was called the Shidim Gwetz brings down here, Kasabarabi Irizal. The Zedafka Biknanim over the Alilim Anosim Shem Gdurim Midarki Adosos. There's only by uh, the Knanim and those people are worshippers, and those people take money from people, uh, 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 c- compel people to give them money which is not theirs, and which are not, uh, uh, not li- uh, uh, guided by the parameters of proper laws. I've also been doing those who do have proper laws, lo namar came. We don't say this. I mean, both the fanatic and the dean, they come in front of us to judgment. You don't judge a needle's breadth. From what the, uh, the uh, honest and just law should be, Aliko Badir Sahar, let the um, the judgment pierce the mountain, even if it goes against the Jew. 
Now, so you, you. So I just want to know one thing. Oh, no, one second, one second, one second. Now, no, 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 no. There are many achronim, among them the, the person whose name must not be mentioned, who say that, uh, who say that this, you know, who say, who are probably very much pro the Ozbarter, and will tell you that this is boom, this, this is all. The Miller had, he wasn't around before. What? No, no, I'm saying he would be proud of the Ozbarter Gemaras. Okay, I'm glad. So then, therefore, he'll agree with everything that you see them with as a name of the media and so on and so forth. Now, what's your problem with it? Let me ask you a question. Hey, you want to ask a question? Let him ask. Can I have a good one over his back? That's it? Nice. Christianity, is that. What is that? Christianity, according to the Ashkenazim at least, is considered not to be Avodah Zorah in terms of breaking Shem Mitzvah B'nai Noach. They're allowed to be worshipped by Avodah Zorah B'shitub as long as they're outside Eretz Yisrael. In Eretz Yisrael, it's much more problematic. According to Ashkenazim, meaning? According to the Taisus. According to the Ramah. According to the Mechaber and the Ramah? According to the Mechaber, it's a form of Avodah Zorah. According to the Ramah? Not necessarily, because what? he was saying that they were uh, uh, in the Meiri's lotion is not that they keep Shem Mitzvah necessarily, this is Lashon Kufi Gimel, but rather they're Gedurim Bedarche Adosos. In other words, you can have a nation which is even a Zar, but if they have a just and legitimate system of laws, the Miris will say you have to abide by that legal system. What else? <laughs> now I'll tell you another thing. We have two Gemara's. You, you tied in what's in the Ashkenazi. Okay. I've shared there's hundreds and could be even more than that of different Members Chazal. Why don't you go to the Shita Makubetzas? It's Shita Makubetzas, it's not censored. Go to the Shita Makubetzas. See what other Rishonim sure he brings down this Gemara. <laughs> he transfers. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm not trying to be right. I'm trying to. No? Understand. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not so sweet. I'm not so sweet so quickly. I don't know. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying. At first, I asked the Shisha. I first have to wait. <laughs> that, 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 that's clear. You okay, have to make sure. Okay, most of us have everyone's judgments at some point. Now, can you get me the Ushami Bamatia just so I can go over it again? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you texted me. Okay, yeah, okay. I just said it's good. Let's go. Chazara is wonderful. Chazara is always good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not, again, I look at the guy, I don't look at him any more than, maybe I drop more than the animal on the street. Then okay, then, nothing, then. nothing, nothing. What? Not to, when I look at the guy. Oh, on the street. I, uh, I don't look at him any higher. You don't know Pirkei Avos? You don't know Pirkei Avos? Nope. Which, which part? Chavivad Nevshniv Ravitzel? Yeah, I think you can tell that, right? Yeah, what, 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 what am I... What, what? So, uh, what is this thing about an animal? Yeah, so therefore, what are you saying about that? So, one second. So, uh, how do you... How do you... How do you... When I look at the Goyim, I don't look at the Goyim. I look at the Goyim. What? I look at the Goyim. I don't look at the Goyim. They only lose their time. They're not the Goyim with the Archeodosos. But if they are, so then they don't lose their time. Let's be real. How many are? Millions and billions of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, because China has laws that allow and this law, certain my law is that, right, that, that makes that. I don't know about China, but India, right? Millions and billions in America? Who are you talking No, there aren't billions of people in America. Right, so All go across the world. Okay. One assumes that mu- Muslims and Christians are not, are doing the Archei Dosos. If the individuals are not, their societies still are. How long is it until. I don't know, but when that happens, we'll worry about it. We'll pro- okay. There's uh, in the final analysis, at least America is still a Judeo-Christian country. I don't know how long it's going to last, but for the time being, it's still like that. I just want to cause this over again because. No, no, because I got a text and I saw no, it. No, no, not, not because of you. Yeah, I, no, because this additional part I didn't, I didn't say over last week. So we have additional part.
So um, I'm going to go quickly to Rabbi Shimon Shad Um Um yeah, so hello uh, above um, is where Shemachet I have a asik bad a kid not Shemachet was dealing with women. I'm really tamadoy. It's told me I've said already. I pay minoch let go of this. But on the zad minoch had a chamor will buy a few donkey. Blaze at lay sagin. I won't have to work so hard anymore. But as in zad minoch they went and bought him had a chamor. Me had a chatzir koi. They bought either according to one version from a bandit, according to another version from some sort of linen worker. But totally be had a margoli and there was a, 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 a precious stone in it. They came to Rav Shem and Shadrach Amalei. They said, "Man kid, man From now on, leisa tzarich loy tuvah. You don't have to work hard anymore." Amar lo and lama. So he said to them, "Why?" Amalei. They said, "Zvino no achar chamor mikhat zirkoi. We bought you this donkey from this bandit. Vatali beig chadem argoli. It had a pearl attached to it." Amar lo. So he said to them, "Biyada b'amara." Did the did the owner know that it was there? Amin lo. They said, "No, he did not." Amalei. So then he said to them. Go give it back. So the Gemara said, "Loche Maravuna, Bibi Bargoza Mishem Rabbi, Sun Kumi Rabbi, I feel Commander Mar Gezelos Akum Asko Amamoy and Shemidos Mutaros." It's a little bit difficult because Shimon Chetak was way before these Amaroim. But they asked him, evidently, what this this thing which the, these later Amaroim said isn't Avedas Akum Mutaros, the loss of a uh, non-Jew. So he said, but um, uh, Shimon Chetak said. Um, Matun Savri, what do you think? Shimon Chetha barbarian of was is he a barbarian? No, uh, uh, but uh, um, uh, boy, I have a Shimon Chetha mashma, but Shimon Chetha would want to hear Brich along the Udoi, blessed is the God of the Jews, may Aga call it in Alma more than any church in this world. Now, um, this is uh, the Gemara still goes on. This I did not quote from last week. Vaido Amra Da, and where we see another instance of this, Rabbi Chaini Mishtoi Hadain Uvda. The the Chanina used to tell of the following story. Rabbani Sadi Zavi Khar Koi the Kitin, Khitin, the elder rabbis, I don't know who they are, bought a um a measure of wheat, Meilain Distrusus. They bought it from um what's it Distrusus uh from a uh, from a soldier. Um uh Beashkum be Kharatsura de Dinore. And they found a bundle of money inside it. The Chazrul on, and they gave it back to the soldiers. I mean, they said, "Rich el Hon do you doy?" Blessed is the God of the uh, of the Jews. And that was a fascinating story. Abba Oshe Yisrael Amra He said that um, uh, uh, that uh, he, the pay much brings down for a medrash. He there was a uh, he was a wanderer, and the queen came to uh, to wash on the riverbank, and she lost her jewelry and uh, her gold, and he gave uh, uh, gave it back to her. Amra uh, uh, So she said, the king, queen, queen said, you know, you're ready. It's ready yours. I gave up. So he said, said back to her, What? Why is it, this is not significant to me? These jewels. Isli tavi mine, isli sagi mine. I have better and uh, and more expensive jewelry. Um, so Amale oraisa gazarta de rachmavu de nachzar. And the Torah, the, what, what is that precious jewel? The Torah which says we should give it back. So Amar, Amar, he said, she said, brich rachmana, brich alad yudai. So the um, it's interesting because here clearly the Torah does not say you have to give it back. Because she gave up hope. Even if it by a Jew, there was Yush. Yeah. But yet, he's saying, no, the Torah says that we have to give it back. So what, is he I lying? Is he lying? He so, what, so, oh, so the Torah says, I don't he's lying, he's saying, he says, 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 you could make it as long as you yeah. want to get it. As long as it can Right, so the Ushambi is bringing down something which is Lav Dafka, but that's just for propaganda purposes. Well, I don't know why it's in propaganda purposes. There's an, another interesting story here, which is um, another fascinating story. There are a bunch of stories here, but this one is really fascinating. Shumar Susi Sol Kuromi, or Shumar Susi went to Rome, Ovdas Makosa, Dilonis, Didai, Bashkri Shulok. I missed the point. So what's the point? So you say that for a kid's Shem, a person should make a kid's Shem. 
No! The Kiddush Hashem is everything. Nothing else is as significant as Mei Kiddush Hashem. And by the Kiddush Hashem means even if they would not find out. Right? A Tolosakum, they have no idea. They wouldn't find out. But if you can make, if giving it back is the Kiddush Hashem, you do the Kiddush Hashem. Right? I don't know if we passed in the Lacha, but that's the way Rishon no, Chet is it. Yeah, but obviously it's it's a actually pass this way in the if it's a if it's a, a based on a higher value than what baseline halacha is. I don't know if this I know Rishon Chet is brought down anywhere in the but that is the uh, uh, the uh, not everything which is brought down in Shulchan Aruch is the ultimate halacha. Leif Nimi Shurasadin is a far higher level. And that's not always brought down. This is what that consists of here. Yeah, but this so the name is sure. Only, you're only allowed to give a present to a guy if you can get something out of it. If, if what if I can get Kiddush Hashem out of it? Right, that's right. So ask, what happens if you get Is that getting something out of it? So you tell me. I don't, I don't think so. Keep it myself. Getting, getting Kiddush Hashem out of it? No. Yeah, I want to give a, I, I want to randomly walk over to a guy. Yeah. But I, I might know, I might not know. I'll give him a present. And I'll get the kid to share I'll say, oh, wow. Okay, so therefore there's really no issue giving away a way present. Right, that's, is you that just what you want to say? Yeah. I'm, you know, that's fine. <laughs> no, but we know that's not true. What do you mean that's not true? We know that giving a present, you know, you know, uh, you know, give a present to a guy only yeah. if the Jew is going to gain from it. Well, the Jew is going to gain from it. Because Coach Baruch is going to gain from it. So I'm asking you, so the Isser is giving something to a guy. It's a theory, hypothetical, and it also, yeah, hypothetical. Doesn't apply. Doesn't apply. It's like Ben Sora Mora because every time you, you, well, let me put it this way: for people who are on a, on a base and course level of Novo Bishu Satira, so for them, there's an issue to give a matana to a guy, because they they don't really want to give, and I'm probably Novo Bishu Satira myself. Because I'm a, a, a selfish, egotistical person, and for me to give a, a gift to, to a guy would therefore be transgressing los chanen. But if you have a person like Rabbi Arya Levin, and he gives a gift to a guy, not only is it mutter, it's a mitzvah. Because he's really doing it because he's trying to emulate a Kodesh Baruch Hu and trying so to give... you don't give... take and rip it out of the tariff, say, look, it's like, you're always going to get something out of No, that. because the Pashan... No. no. Lo, first of all, los chanen, the Pashan Pashan los chanen, in the Torah itself, is about Chania Bakarka. It's about living in Eretz Yisro. This is an inference which are going to make from it, Los, don't give them presents. For, for presents. And it's not the Yisra Doraisa, it's the Rabbana. But that Rabbana also is talking about by Oiv Devon Zora, where you're not going to make a Kiddush Hashem. Where it's not a Devon Zora, where you are going to make a Kiddush Hashem, it doesn't apply. But that doesn't make Los Chaneim out of the Chumash Chas Misholem. Right? Because Lo's Chanim, according to what you just by the way, there's still the other one. The other George Rushes, which Chazal have, which still take effect. Lo Sitein Lemchay. Don't talk nicely about Michael Jordan. Okay? That's still a mitzvah. I have a problem with that. What's up? <laughs> yes. What's the, what's the issue here? You're not supposed to talk. Uh, uh, talk. Not emulate a No, not just emulate. You're not supposed to That's praise. Also, not supposed to praise a, 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 a guy. Now. If you're playing basketball, you use all of them. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you can praise a, you can praise a, a guy if you can learn something from him, but to praise a guy just be, uh, or uh, because he is a star basketball player, in my opinion, that's a big problem. Uh -huh. what, 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 what? Yeah. You can learn to play basketball from Michael Jordan. Nah. Yeah, you're not going to yeah, learn to play basketball, from Michael. Jordan. <laughs> anyway, that's not praise. You're using him to teach yourself how to play. That's fine. And you should praise him for that. Why well, should praise him for that? Rabbi Jordan taught me how to play wow. basketball. Yeah, that's what's also to do, oh, exactly. Oh, yeah. See, see Why? Yeah. Okay, can yeah. you explain it to me? Because you can't, call, uh, you can't call somebody Rabbi Jordan if they are corrupt and uh, personally immoral people. Part of Even a moral part of person. society that America so greatly... You see, now he's happy with me. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's totally, what you're saying is on one side that we're living in a very cultural society and the upstanding and justice, but it's not true. We all know it's not true. Right, all sports are as a mushroom. No, 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 I'm not talking about, when I talk about sports, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, society, about sports, society, sports about, actors, no, they're all corrupt people. I don't know, man. If, if that were true, none of yeah, these people were sitting here at this table. That's right. We'd all be dead. What? 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 
if what you're saying is true, if we're all, if the society we live in is all corrupt and nasty and disgusting, none of these bald shubas would be sitting at this table. We would either be dead or be in like some why other crazy that, thing. Is there true? is at least some semblance of morality to bring us back to where we are right now. Just saying. Why is that true? You saw what they had to offer. You saw that that was all garbage. So you came to see the light. Why is that not? That's how it works all over the place. Why is that not the truth? We wouldn't have even known there was, there was light to begin with. Habibi, like, understand? Because? because there is morality in society. No, he's saying that's how you know there was light. He, he, he's, trying, he's asking why would, why would there not be light if you don't subscribe to the notion that there is something laudable in general society. That's what he's asking. I don't know any other words that you just used, but okay, <laughs> fine. Just say I disagree. Anything out of court? I'm not going to listen to a lawyer over here. Say this, say that. Anyway, I'm going to go. Listen, I don't know. I, what are we taking away from this? I'm not sure. We that, take away. First, that's why I give the show. Take away this. It doesn't hurt to talk nicely. Uh, two grain doesn't hurt to oh, talk nicely. Talk nicely to no, I haven't finished. I just started there. Okay, it doesn't hurt to talk nicely about goyim. It don't have to praise him, but it talk nicely about them. It doesn't hurt to yeah, have the men- mentality that everything one does is supposed to be a kiddush Hashem, and therefore you have to treat them with the same type of derech eretz that you treat a fellow Jew. Mm-hmm. Not talking about chesed right now. Talking about derech eretz. Now, besides that, we know there is the Zdarch Shalom, which means you do give them stuff. Right, you don't want them to chat. Right. Those. So that, that so therefore what we come out with is the understanding that to say things like mm-hmm. all Goyim hate all Jews, all Goyim hate all Jews, like many, many Rabbonim unfortunately say on a regular basis, is a very, very bad practice which leads to counterproductive Chilul Hashem and Sully not to Kiddush Hashem. We can agree right, on that? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I never heard a rabbi say, all goyim. Wait, Allah, Yisrael, Yaakov. Never heard him say, Yisrael, Yaakov? Allah, Yisrael, Yaakov. Yeah, you ever hear somebody? Have you never heard somebody say that? In, in that all context? goyim hate you then? Yeah, yeah. No? Really? Can we play back the recording last Monday? Wow. Okay. You never heard him say it. I heard him say it. Yisrael, Yaakov, yes. There's something brewing inside a guy, in every guy, that... Could be ignited to hate the Eden. That's true. But all guy hate Eden? That's not true. But the Gomorrah says otherwise. Wait, wait a second. You, so you have an interesting definition of this. Now you're saying Ace of means that means yeah, that there's a genetic f- fault within every non Jew which only has to, which is dormant until it is um, brought out by some experience or some uh, uh, Okay, I have a list of other oh, sorts. Okay, should I drop a name? I'll drop a name. But it's not, uh, it's not okay. Rabbi Greenwald just told me last week, the, the, the rabbi that's here in the morning that talks to everybody, right? So, the audio, the, he said that in every guy, he told me this clearly, in every guy, I was talking to him about in the, in the whole world, in every guy, there lies dormant this halakhi do aces and the akhir. And I could work with the gnaida if necessary, if the Yidin are going too far being steeped in Ezra Mazer, he will get them back. You know, if you. I was a guy and I heard that, I'd become an anti-Semite. Good. That's why he didn't say it to a guy. He said it to me. Does, doesn't help. It doesn't matter. It doesn't help. It's an attitude, which then you get, which comes out. Where do you think he got it from? He got it, unfortunately, from the yeshivas in which he learned. He got, no, he got it from over on Yerucham, over on any other, any other. Yeah. Rabbi Yerucham? Yeah. Oh, you showed me Rabbi Yerucham. Uh-huh. Okay. It's not a, not a Muslim uh, story. It's, not, it's anti-Muslim to think Is that. Is there any gear in the room? You're going to get over there. I don't think so. No, 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 because no, I would like to ask, look. No. I, I, I bet so. you, in a, like, a, like someone who's like converting, right? Or who's someone who, who went through Garrus, who was converting and heard something like this, would probably be turned off to Judaism like very hard. I think so. I agree. Okay. And you, you, but, at that point, like, I, you I, could I, have been a Jew. Halacha of Yadua Esav Sein Yaakov was not used to talk about Goyim in general until the Abarbanel. You won't find in any Rishon any reason that they use that to refer to anything besides Esau and Yaakov himself. And I imagine that Barbanel used it that way because he was kind of bitter about being kicked out of Spain and out of Portugal. But uh, until you Barbanel, nobody uses it that way. So who's Esau today? There is no Esau. Esau is Esau. Esau is Esau by itself? Ace, yes, that's what the Medrash says. 
Esau hated Yaakov. Yeah, yeah, I know. And there, but then... Yeah, what about the descendants? What about like... Nothing. Shmuel we only do... No. No, there's none of that. No. They will die out. They, uh, they they was the oh, if they did die out, then we would, wouldn't be allowed to accept Gerim. Because we'd have to assume that they come from Adam, they'd be also a Dor Shlishi. We don't so have them. Dor Shlishi happened already. What? Dor Shlishi went out for a while. After they convert. Dor Shlishi after they convert. What do you mean after they convert? An Edomi Amitzi is not allowed to marry a Jew until the third generation after conversion. Just like an ammonium Moab is not allowed to marry a Jew until forever. Okay. Even after they convert. Right, so, that, so what happened to the Ammonium Moab? They like, fell off the planet? They're not here anymore, right? They're not here anymore. No more. Yeah. 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 Well, because I'm very mixed up everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore, everybody lost everything. Uh-huh. And the fact that Esau and Yishmol, everybody's pointing out the fact, I heard this in a lot of places, that Esau and Yishmol, before Mishael comes, Esau fights with Yishmol, and then they join together against Clyde, so now Mishael will come, right? Let's say, say it how you like it. But this is what they quote from the Zara book. I know the right? They quote, they, run out, they roll it out every few years. Right. Whenever right. they suddenly right. they ran, yeah. Or yeah. Back, yeah. they don't roll out the Zohar. They, they yeah. don't roll out. <laughs> so now, let's say America's other, is what they say. Yeah, America's have fun with it, sure. And, yeah. and, and uh, but that's not a that's true That's a beautiful thing, thing with Midrashi. Midrash could be metaphorical. That's beautiful. And therefore you say, oh, this is this is By the way, this is a great, uh, uh, the, something about Hasidus, not about Midrashim, but, all, but about Hasidus, is that in Hasidus, anything could be a Bechina of something else. I mean, as long as it's an aspect, right? It's an aspect, it's an aspect, a Bechina. But in, in Midrashim, no marriage is meant literally. If it says Edom, it's not, it's, that we call Christianity Edom is also a metaphor. Because most of Christians are not from Edom. Where are they from? The barbarian tribes who are converted by the Christians are, are, are threatened to either be killed or convert. Those are tribes throughout yeah. the ages of the Kazakhs? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Just, and where were these tribes hatched? Where, where in they Asia, from? Not, not, for, not in the Ace of Land. Ace of Land <laughs> was the south of Eretz Yisrael. In the Negev today. Look, I'm very happy that you have your way. No, but I, I don't no, no, hear, I don't I hear mean, the basis I don't for your fight. way. I don't know what, I don't know what we're fighting about. There's no fight. Is there a war of Shabbos behind you? I'll just, on, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what you said yeah. is correct, but let's yeah. say it as it may. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't say anything stupid to God because they will kill you. Fine, mm-hmm. very good. Shabbos lying down over there. Oh, lying Second shelf on the bottom, lying down. Nibble Pet is Nibble Pet. I'm saying, not sure if the word I just said was Nibble Pet. Oh, just that, that you just told me. Yeah, it is Nibble Pet. I, 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 I disagreed with him question. last time, and he totally proved me wrong. Right? Okay. It, it really, it really um, is. I'm just saying. I, I disagreed with him last time on this specific issue with that word. Bottom line is, don't say anything. No, I just want to say what's up there. Uh. Huh? I don't know. It's a it's a it's a steer. Don't say anything stupid to Goyim, because then you're going to cause evil. But don't, no, be nice don't even to them. No, and, 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 what do you call it? But don't, don't start, I don't know, between you, between the two of them, don't, don't make it kill I don't know, like, like they're, they're what? They, they have any resemblance of, 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 of what? anything to do with Kali Yisrael, anything to do with, well, they're not Kali Yisrael, they're, 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 they're human beings, same level. they're human beings, right? Yeah, they, they walk on two, they eat, that's true. Yeah, every, time we, every time we come to some to, uh, some conclusion which seems to be uh, a, a positive one, immediately you destroy it afterwards. Why do you do that? Bavon Ivlus Peh. Yeah. Tsaros Rabos Zeros Koshois. Mishachos. Bachurei Sonei Yisrael means Jewish kids. Mason. Yisrael Ma'amonos Tzorakim. Ain Nenin. Shemar Kehel Keina Bachrov Leismach Hashem. Etc. Etc. Uh, uh, and all Yod and so on and so forth. And then uh, uh, Why do you want to take chances on that? <laughs> I don't know why you think that this is a nibble pen thing. What do you mean? It's coarse, based, and vulgar. Isn't that nibble pen? It's the same thing I like was saying a Kala is getting married in order no, to have relations that. with Chasim. 
No, it's not. Why? Because there you're describing an action. You're using nice words. You're describing... Yeah, said... Yeah, said... Yeah, said... He said... He said... Well, Good, and Rashi asked him. Yeah, and he said... It says for him it was an evil pair, right? So the point is that here, uh, the uh, nivel pair means anything which is coarse, base, and vulgar. So bottom line, be nice to everybody. Fine, it's beautiful. But don't. I don't know. Just leave out the but don't, okay? Do me a favor. I don't know. I just yeah. I don't I don't. It's not. We don't gain anything with the but don't. No, you're right. What you want to say? What you want to say? Amisol is the mamlechet's calling because Kadosh. You want to say we have a special mission in the world. We have a special schus. We have a special uh, uh, um, relationship with our Kadosh Baruch Hu. All that is true. Don't but don't tear other people down in order to build yourself up. We have plenty of positives which we can talk about ourselves without tearing other people down. The problem, here's the problem. You ready? Yeah. We're going to be here for a while, so I don't mind. Everyone wants to stay in the supper? Call it away. Um, here we go. If... You sure you might go down this road now? A hundred percent. Not a question. Okay, right, right. Uh, I'll stay. Do you not like non-Jews? I'm nothing necessarily against non-Jews. I think they're like very. My question is, who do you like, dude? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the non <laughs> When a person equates, or I don't know that word, equates, and we equalize, equalize. the youth and the good. We don't, do we? I, did I, did you not hear what I was saying? Okay, one second. When a person thinks, oh, they're also good. They're also nice. They're also... So then it brings both the Yid and the Goy. It brings the Yid closer to the Goy. It brings the Habdolo. No, really? It brings the Goy closer to the I don't know. I, I, I don't find there. myself any closer to the Goy just because I have tried to work on a more positive attitude. I haven't found myself so close to non-Jews. I'm not drinking their wine. So I have a few. Thank you. But I'm sure that I know it's a shita that you can only build. You can I know it's a shita. it's much easier how, to build yourself up it? by destroying other people. How That's the way it? everybody works, and it? it's a tragedy, and it's not musr. How is it that in America right now we have almost close to seventy percent of intermarriage? It's our fault. How did that happen? Because we did not show the the non from Jews how wonderful and how emistic it is to be a from Jew. That's one way. That's it. There's another way is the fact that if everybody, since it's open, democratic, and everybody can love everybody, and everybody's equal, and everybody's this, and everybody's that, so between me and you, no, it was between me and him, what's the difference? There's nothing to do with that. No, there's nothing to do with that. That's, uh, the, uh, that, that's, the, po- that's the Paul Yoyte after you do not show them what Yiddish God is about. Yes, eventually they're going to come. I what's the machine? Yiddish God is something else. You didn't show them how beautiful Yiddish God is. I have a. Were you afraid that the, the, niece, the fr- I have a niece through marriage that's about to marry a guy. Okay. So I was speaking to the mother. I said, Audrey, I don't understand. You told me over your dead body because I'm marrying a guy. So let me explain to you something. Now she's crying a little bit. And she's over this. So here's the following. She said, When I grew up, I understood there was a stark difference between Jews and non Jews. And then I, got, I grew up and I saw the non Jew and the Jew. The non Jew is very civilized. The Jew is civilized. The non Jew is. And the, the, the gap, the, the gap came very much, you know, very close. And now, so she's mad, what should I do? I told her not to. Now she does one of us. Okay, but it's not so bad. He's also a good Jew person. Yishmu has nechem ashpicha medaber. You're saying that Audrey used to see the difference between a Jew and a Goy, and now she doesn't see the difference anymore. She's not going to see the difference between a Jew and a Goy if you go around and say, that Goy who looks civilized is really... Uh, uh, mushchas, etc., etc. She'll only see what's good about, special about Jews if you say, "Let me show you what Torah is about, what mitzvahs are about." There's no other way to do it. Okay. But you're right. In the yeshivas, I had this argument here once uh, in, on a shop this morning. In the yeshivas, uh, I was said, you know, we, that we don't have to we don't have to tear down people in order to build ourselves up. And they, when somebody else got up and said, "You're wrong." And all the yeshivas that I went to, they tore down people in order to build up, tore down Goyim in order to build up Yidin. 
And that's the right derech. I said, well, what about Chabad? He said the same thing. They tore down Chabad in order to build us a build, build us a build what us about, the oh, what, what about Chabad that you wanted? What they they want by read Chabad in order to show that we're much better than that. That only happened after Shaft building. Whatever it's happened yeah, after. It happened. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, I don't agree. I said you can talk yourself up without having to talk the other down. Okay, so that's yeah, thank you. Again. So I'm not arguing with you. Good, this excellent. Is, this is, this is, this is, but you understand what I'm talking about. Yes, but I, I'm telling you my response. Build yourself up. Show the light as opposed to... So how, let me ask you a question. Let's see. Right never now. better light second. one candle. Than the, better light one candle than to curse the darkness? I'm not sure. I'm, I've never it's heard from Eleanor Roosevelt, I think. Oh, sure. <laughs> 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 audio. Let me, let, let me ask you. Let, let me ask you, audio. What do you do right now about this Audrey? Uh, that gorgeous kid. It's very foul. It's terrible, right? Yeah. So now, how did that happen? My grandfather yeah, through marriage. They, what's that? My grandfather through marriage came out of the last boat from Germany. Yeah. Okay, so he wasn't so from to begin with. He married again. He had a family. His wife died. He married again. Okay? He's a leftist. He's a liberal. I'm saying he's a... Right? Like me. Um, you're Bernie Sanders, then? It's not for it's being anti-Israel. I'd be pro Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I know. Uh, you don't like Trump, I'm assuming. <laughs> no. Don't say that, why? <laughs> Where do you go? Okay, no. Um, I'm, not, I'm not going to do it now. But. Uh, You're right. The only way to do it is to show the light of. How do you show the light? That's what it says. Now in English? It's, it's, it's a chazal. They say. Halavai that the Amisha would lose, leave my Torah, leave uh, me, but keep my Torah because the light in Torah will bring them back to the good. Okay. That's the only way to do it. Right, okay, and therefore. So therefore you should go so to you Audrey. Have, you have hundreds and thousands of people. So I have a suggestion. Right? Go to Audrey and learn with her. Tanakh, learn with them and say, let's Learn with her something. Show what amazing things are in Judaism. Maybe I'll work for her daughter too. Might be too late, probably it's too late, but oh, the right. only way you're going to do anything is by showing, you know, right, Audrey, you lost the, 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 the distinction. Let me show you the distinction. Let me show you what makes us higher, what makes us unique, what makes us special. Just learn my mother's calling me like Kodosh. Learn of Shimon Shkop and that Dhamma Tishari Yesha. That's a good place to start. Learn of Shimon Shkop and Dhamma Tishari Yesha, learn with her, and then you'll see as a result. Yeah, you can change people's lives. What's his name? Rabbi Uro. What's his name? Mintz. I saw uh, some guy came to my parents' house, and he said he hasn't put on tefillin since my mitzvah. You know, one of these things. And uh, he said, so I ran around the corner to Rabbi I said, what do I do now? He said, learn Mishnayis. So I sat there. I said, let's learn Mishnayis. He said, I gotta go. <laughs> and he tried. And that was it, my brother. All right. Okay. That was a good right. stop here, I think.